In this lesson, we are going to discuss the naming scheme for variables in C++. First, I'd like to point out that C++ is a case-sensitive language. That is, the case actually matters. Here, I've written IOStream in a variety of cases. No two words here are the same. For a case-insensitive language, all of these four items are the same. Let's quickly take a look at this program, where I've initialized a variable x to the value 10 and then I'm printing that variable x, but I've used a wrong case for C out. The C here is capital. If I compile this program, C++ is going to complain that C out was not declared in the scope. Thus, the case actually matters in C++. Second, C++ has several reserved keywords that cannot be used as variable names. These reserved keywords serve special purpose. Here's a list of few of those keywords. You cannot use any of these keywords for your variable name. You have already seen the ones highlighted in yellow. Now let's discuss the naming rules for variables in C++. First and foremost, variable names must start with a letter or an underscore. And the remaining characters must be letters, numbers, or underscores. You cannot start your variable name with a number. Special characters such as the percentage symbol, the dollar symbol, or any other of the like are not allowed, including spaces. Third, variable names are case sensitive, that is can underscore volume all in lower case and can underscore volume with a capital V are different names. And finally, you're not allowed to use reserved keywords in C++ as variable names. Now let's also consider some naming conventions. These are not necessarily rules, but have been adopted as standards for naming variables. Variable names by convention begin with a lower case letter. Since you cannot use spaces between words, use underscores or camel case as in can underscore volume. In camel case, you start with a lowercase letter, and whenever you have a separate word, you use an uppercase character to denote that. The camel case for can volume would look something like this with a capital V. Now, let's take a look at a few examples and see if we can identify valid and invalid variable names. In this example, our first character is an alphabet, and the remaining characters are either alphabets, underscore, or a number. Thus, this is a valid variable name. In this example, again, our first character is an alphabet, and the remaining characters are either an underscore or an alphabet. Thus, this is also a valid variable name. But please note that if another variable of the same name existed, but with a different case for even a single of those characters, then that would be a different variable altogether. For this example, we note that the first character is a number. In C++, that is not allowed. Thus, this is not a valid variable name. In this example, we note that while the first character is an alphabet, and the remaining characters are also alphabets, there is a space in between, which constitutes a special character and thus is not allowed. For this example, we have seen that int is a data type, and if you observed the list of reserved keywords, then you would note that int is a reserved keyword. You don't need to memorize the list of reserved keywords. In this final example, we note that the characters comprise of alphabets and special symbols. Special symbols are not allowed in variable names, and thus this is not a valid variable name in C++. Let's take a look at a program to demonstrate case sensitivity in C++. In this example, I'm initializing an integer variable can underscore volume to the value 10. Then I'm going to print the value of this variable using this statement. But do you notice something different here? The C in the can underscore volume variable here is uppercase, while the variable we have defined up here has a lowercase c. Let's see what the compiler tells us when you try to compile this program. The compiler gives us an error saying that can underscore volume with an uppercase C was not declared in the scope. Did you mean can underscore volume with a lowercase C? The uppercase C makes this variable completely different from the variable that we defined above. If we fix the case of C here to a lowercase C, the program compiles fine and runs fine. In order to make the concept of case sensitivity more clear, let's take a look at this extended example. Here, 
I'm defining two variables, can underscore volume. Both of the variables are of type int. The first variable is assigned a value of 10, while the second variable is assigned a value of 20. Notice that the only difference between these two variables is in their first character's case. The second variable has an uppercase C, while the first variable has a lowercase C. Then I'm going to print the values of both of these variables. If the case really makes a difference, then the values that we should see on the screen are 10 and 20. And because case does make a difference, that's what we get when we run the program.